To start with the WebEx on the iPads, the first thing we're going to need to do is we're going to need to use the self-service um, app on the iPad. From there, we're going to need to install the Cisco WebEx Meetings app, and we should be able to just install that directly from here, and it should come through and download fairly quickly. Once the WebEx Teams app is open, we need to find it on our home screen, and we need to open it up. The first thing it's going to do for the first time is it's going to ask you to accept its terms of service. Um, as a school, we've looked at that and we are quite happy with that and we're happy for you to just click the I accept button there. From here, you're going to be joined with this particular um, screen. And from here, it's actually really simple to join your class's uh, team meeting and I'll show you how to do that very shortly. So once we open the WebEx meeting app, right, we'll be launched with the join meeting option. So from here, we're going to touch the join meeting and it's going to come up with this screen here. This is where you need that information that your classroom teacher should have shared with you. Um, in this case, there's a couple of things that you can do. If you know your teacher's email address, so for mine, it would be haig.json.j, you could actually put that in there. But the simplest one is, is the number, the nine-digit number that your classroom teacher will have given you for your WebEx room or meeting room. And in this case, for my classroom, it's actually uh, 573 You need to put your name in there. And please make sure you use your real name rather than just a um, nickname or something like that to go in there. And then you need to put an email address down in here. Now, in the information that you'll have gotten from your class teachers also, I would hope that there's an email address that goes with it. It should be a five-letter word um, or based on your student name but at schools.vic.edu.au. You please make sure you get that right. If you're not sure what your um, email address is, it'd be really good if you could um, contact your teacher to find that out. From there, click join up in the right hand corner and then it's going to go through this connecting process and this can sometimes take a little bit of time but while it's doing that, it's going to, when it comes up, it's going to ask if it can access your microphone. Okay, that's so that it can, uh, you can actually have that two-way conversation with your teacher and members of your class. So in this case, I'm going to click OK. okay. It's also going to ask if it can access the camera so that's so that it can actually get your, your face and I'm going to allow that as well. Um, the next um, part, is, you can see it's asking at the bottom of the screen there, how does it want to connect the audio? In this case, we're going to use using the internet for audio, and in this case, um, we're not going to connect to a Cisco system, so we're just going to ignore that there, so we can go through that. The reason we're using internet for audio is that means that you are using the speakers on the iPad to deliver that sound rather than having to um, actually phone in to the meeting as well. Eventually it will come up with this screen here and all you need to do now, you can see at the top of the screen there it says Jason Haig's personal room and uh, down the bottom of the screen it's got that join button there, the green button there. You'll notice that the microphone is aligned through it as well as the camera, that means that the camera is not switched on and the microphone is not switched on. If I was to switch the camera on, there you go, you can see me there, and isn't that an ugly sight? Okay, I'm going to click the join thing, and it's going to go through its connecting process. Okay, this can take some time, but there you can go. Um, and going through the process there. So that's how you go about joining into your classroom teacher's uh, WebEx meeting space. Okay, you can see there that's... Uh, a whole heap of different things in my office there. So that's just a quick uh, test on how you can join the WebEx meetings and how you can get into that. Um, the next, I'll do another video shortly and I'll show you how you can work all the controls and things like that. Thanks guys.